John here. Electricians need to know. Electricians need to know digital voltmeters. Now I'm not going to tell you how to use a digital voltmeter. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there on digital voltmeters. But I am going to tell you when not to use a digital voltmeter. You see in the late 70s when digital uh, electronics were being developed we found that everything was analog all of our meters were analog so we had to develop a digital voltmeter the analog the analog meters were about 20,000 ohms per volt that's on a 110 volt system that's about six thousandth of an amp that was good enough to test transistors and test a few other things but when it came to testing logic it would blow the chips right off the board and believe me it blew the chips off the board because I witnessed that several times so we had to use an oscilloscope so obviously I couldn't lag an oscilloscope around all the time so we had to develop a digital voltmeter now my first digital voltmeter was a Heath kit it had, it had um, ranges that you had to lock in and it was great I loved it I kept it for about 10 years but um, as digital voltmeters grow, grew through the 80s, 90s, and, and uh, into the 2000s, everyone got comfortable with using a digital voltmeter. Now, a digital voltmeter is usually 10 or 11 mega ohms. Uh, okay, so a 10, the impedance, the 10 or 11 mega ohms is way up there. It's like a, a hundred thousandth of an amp uh, that takes off that board. So it's it's perfectly capable of testing logic. However, when you're testing power and you use a digital voltmeter, it's going to get you in trouble because when circuit breakers fail, they arc internally. When switches fail, they arc internally. When receptacles fail, all these arcing and, and internal uh, arcs leave carbon traces inside the breaker, inside the receptacle, inside the switch inside what have you okay and the impedance of of the digital voltmeter is so high it it only takes a very little voltage off that circuit a very little current off that circuit and it will read right through that carbon arc and give you a false reading now that's happened to me about a hundred times so over the years i've learned to to use when i'm looking for power I've learned to use this power device. It's called a Wiggy. Okay, it's 110 volt up to 600 volt AC or DC. It loads the circuit down pretty good. It's a 4,000 ohm per volt. Okay, so it doesn't load it down a lot, but it does load it down enough that a carbon arc will give up and, and it won't give you a false reading. Okay, now that being said, they do make a meter that has a low impedance scale. Now, uh, th this Klein meter, pardon me, this Klein meter has a very low impedance scale. It says low Z, right, uh, right there, low Z. Okay, so the regular voltage setting is 10 million ohms per volt. The low Z setting is 3,000 ohms per volt. So it does the same thing as the Wiggy. It'll load the circuit. But if your digital voltmeter doesn't have that low Z, um, then you can't switch to low Z and really test that switch, that receptacle, or, or that breaker, or whatever that device is that you're trying to test uh, for power because this won't give you an accurate uh, picture of power. Uh, it'll give you an accurate picture of voltage, but if you want to load the circuit down, stick to stick to the Wiggy. Um, it's a power device. And uh, I hope this clears up some of the issues uh, that you may have been having. Alright, well thanks for watching.